Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario again. Uh, today I'm gonna go over uh, two trades. Um, first one was DraftKings, second day continuation after yesterday's uh, move. Uh, it could be the bottom, we don't really know yet. Uh, so today I was looking for a continuation of that trend. Uh, I'm gonna go over that trade. I also traded uh, American Airlines. Yesterday they had a, a decent earnings report and a lot of it has to do, a lot of the move has to do with the stimulus that uh, they're working on Congress right now. Uh, there's a lot of gridlock, uh, Republicans and Democrats, uh, they don't agree on pretty much anything, but uh, I believe, and many people believe, uh, that a uh, stimulus will happen. Uh, now, if it's before uh, the election or after the election, um, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as it happens, and a lot of people, of course, you know, they, it, pretty much a lot of people are expecting that it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Uh, so there was a huge move yesterday, um, and today I was looking for a second continuation uh, of that. Uh, so a low-hanging low fruit, long type of trade. Um, and I'm going I'm to go over uh, those setups, okay? So let's get started. All right, let's see. And let me share my screen. Okay, here we go. All right, so pretty much um, start with uh, DraftKings. So DraftKings finally uh, had a, a decent bounce yesterday. A had a uh, W, uh, what I call a W bottom information uh, type of pattern. I uh, had a huge day yesterday, um, and I pretty much had a pretty decent week this this week. Uh, so I, I actually wanted to trade small. I came in with the mentality today that I wanted to trade small. I wanted to focus on protecting my profits. Um, a lot of the times when traders um, make a lot of money, um, they tend to oversize, and that's what I used to do as well. And I will tend to oversize because I had I made a decent amount of income uh, that the day before that hey you know I have extra cushion to make uh, more money but sometimes it usually doesn't work you end up giving it all back to the market <laughs> so um, you have to protect those profits and you always have to keep that in mind hey when you have a big day hey let's cut back size or maybe not even trade you know especially on a Friday when you're pretty much exhausted from a whole week of work and day trading or whatever the case may be. And so your, your, your mentality is not there. You're not going to be trading or, or thinking at the same uh, rate as uh, other days. Uh, and then again, trading is a performance game. It's like becoming a professional athlete. Um, you know, like any sport, uh, your, your, your performance uh, is all, uh, you know, it's, it's all based on how well you feel, how, how uh, rested you are and how your how good your mind is working. So I came into the mentality that, Hey, I'm going to trade small and, 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 and just keep it that way. So, uh, again, low hanging fruit. Um, my first entry, I always like to kind of put it on the midpoint. So I did enter the midpoint and I actually decided to sell some on this push to uh, 4250. And, and the reason why was because the market looked weak. It looked very, very weak. So if you look at the spine, it was literally just down training all day as well as the uh, NASDAQ. So I felt like, you know what, there might be lower lows coming. So uh, because of that, hey, let me take some profits. Um, I took half a profits, raised, uh, put my stop at the um, entry point and to see what happened. Hopefully I was looking for a bigger move uh, to the upside, but it didn't happen. It kept making lower lows. I stopped down. I also had another entry here at 41.75. And again, this level is based on the yesterday's intraday uh, support levels. And I literally missed it by like two cents. Uh, so I was a little bit not happy about that. <laughs> Um, you know, actually one cent, uh, no, uh, let me see. Uh, I missed it by, yeah, two cents. And, um, I was actually, like I said, not happy about that. So, um, it happens, you know, you, you miss your, 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 your entry. Um, you know, maybe next time I should start rounding things instead of putting my entry at 41.75, I should have put it at 41.80. Um, and I would have made a couple, uh, you know, a couple bucks on that, but hey, it happens, you know. So after that, you know, I was like, you know, I'm done. Um, there's no reason to trade this. There's no reason to stay. I'm tired. I don't have the patience. Let's move on. Now, uh, let's go to American Airlines. So um, let's go over American Airlines. Now, I want to kind of go over a big picture of what's happening overall in this chart. Uh, American Airlines was one of the uh, uh, companies that got severely hit by the whole pandemic. Uh, huge sell-off. Uh, Warren Buffett had a huge position, position in American Airlines, and uh, that was pretty much him, probably. <laughs> you know, he lost um, billions of dollars, or actually, yeah, I think uh, their portfolio lost like $50 billion that quarter or something like that. So most of it was probably American Airlines and other airlines. Uh, so there was this huge squeeze right here, and ever since then, it's just kind of been bouncing around uh, the 1250 area. 
and it's a tight, tight, tight uh, range right now. And my thought process is that this range is eventually going to break, especially if there is a, a stimulus package approved in Congress, which right now they're working on it. And uh, this is the second stimulus package. Uh, and hopefully this one, um, you know, it's, it's a decent one to really help not only airlines and businesses, but also help the general population. You know, a lot of people are not doing so great. So it's very, very important that does, the Congress does pass something that is, benefits everyone. So um, again, I do, uh, I am investing in American Airlines in the long term. I do really like this, uh, this really narrowing range. And I really believe this is going to break. I really believe uh, 13, 14 is going to break. Um, you know, so um, yesterday it had a really decent mood, um, decent amount of volume. If you see the volume here, uh, and this was after their reported earnings, it was a pretty decent mood, you know, pretty uh, decent relative volume. So I really thought, you know, hey, maybe uh, today could be the day that, it, you know, support holds and it could break even higher. So uh, unfortunately, uh, there was a huge sell off. Um, and again, a lot of this has to do with the market overall. Uh, if you look at this S&P 500, which uh, American Airlines is part of the ind index, um, it really traded with the S&P 500. You know, it literally just sold off. And again, the S&P 500 it just continued to downtrend. So because of that, um, you know, I, I decided to kind of wait and see where this was going to bottom out. And it did kind of bottom up on S1 pivot level. And it started to kind of, you know, bounce around the area and I felt you know what if this if this bounce if this uh, uh, I guess you could say a little range breaks up above uh, 1270 I felt like we we're gonna get like a little bounce or squeeze to maybe 1280 even 1290 even uh, the midpoint area uh, so I did decide to enter enter here at 1270 and my first exit was around 1218 now I did see a lot of heavy selling on the level two um, and I also saw the market selling off. So I was like, you know what? I, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable, you know, in this move and this bounce. I took half profits and then put my stop at my entry and let it do its thing. And I got stopped down. Now it did bounce off the VWAP and it hit the 1280. And, and, but at that point, you know, I'm like, Hey, you know, today I came with the mentality of just using small size, protect yesterday's profits. So I didn't really expect much today. Um, so I took a little bit of money out of the market. I'm okay with that. Uh, to me, again, it's more important to protect my profits. Um, and I'm already exhausted by this week. Uh, don't have the patience. Uh, don't have the mentality to, to kind of trade anymore. So that was pretty much it for today, guys. Um, again, guys, one thing I wanted to emphasize is that when you have big days, uh, it's the next trading day is all about protecting those profits. Um, either trading small or not trading at all, uh, because trading is about psychology and what tends to happen. And it used to happen to me all the time. You know, when I had a big day, the next day I'll try to size it even more. You know, because I'll get excited. I'll be like, "Yeah, I made some decent income, some money. Let's go bigger. Let's let's risk it. You know, let's go all in." <laughs> that type of mentality. And nine out of ten times, I will give it back, and I'll be very uh, upset because of that. You know, because if I wouldn't even trade it that, that day, I would have, you know, it made even more money. So it was just, it's just, it's just all psychology, guys. Uh, trading is a performance game. Um, not only it's about reading charts, understanding, reading the news, understanding fundamentals. It's also about psychology, you know, how your emotions play into it, your subconscious plays into it. Um, and you have to be aware of that. So hopefully you guys learned from this video. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button to support this channel. Ask any questions in the YouTube comments and I'll answer them all. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace out.